and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Factorio. My name, of course, is Oda Potato. If you'll recall, at the end of the last episode, ugh, we ran out of a bloody steel axe. Ugh, that's annoying, but whatever, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. Um, yeah, basically what happened is that we ran into the annoying situation of... The game sort of went a little bit haywire, and I didn't really understand what was happening, but I did indeed figure out what was going on, and it was a memory issue. The game, uh, or my computer, had just spontaneously run out of memory, and unfortunately, Factorio just didn't want to save. So, you know what? We're going to need to place down all of these copper mines again, because as you may perhaps be aware, we have had slight copper supply issues and you know that's obviously not the best situation situation to be in should I say so we're gonna try and sort all of those supply issues today and may I just add that this shotgun is absolutely spiffing for uh, for taking out trees and I say spiffing because it really fucking is amazing holy shit you need to be fairly up close and personal though I must say boom boom there we go okay fantastic let's place down let's place down some mines that's right place down some mines. It's about time we did something like this. It's been a long, long time that uh, that we've actually addressed our copper issues, or, uh, you know, should I say lack of copper issues. By the way, just in case anybody is curious, this is actually being recorded on a live stream, and um, so I will occasionally be interacting with people uh, in the chat. And uh, in case you're interested, uh, when I live stream, usually Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, although sometimes things come up and uh, that prohibits me from actually doing a live stream. But most of the time, most of the time, as you can appreciate, I am there on twitch.tv forward slash old potato. Ugh. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's much easier than taking it up and then putting it back down. Oh my goodness. Okay, thankfully, I took a whole shit ton of mines with me, which is kind of amazing. Uh, unfortunately, we're going to need to... Oh, fucking hell. We're going to need to take this mine up because I placed it badly. Majoga in the chat. What is up? I don't know. Not much. We're just playing a little bit of Factorio. And we are continuing with our Rails Not Robots campaign. And, you know, in all honesty, I'm really, really happy with the way that this campaign is, is going. Uh, oh, unfortunately, we don't have... I suppose we could make some medium electric poles. But I don't think... I don't think we're going to manage to provide power to every single every single mine in the vicinity. There we go. Let's get some fast belt down. Just like so. And then like so here as well. I really shouldn't have placed it in this order because now I have to run up the whole belt. Oh, why am I even placing it here? Ugh. I hate picking stuff up without uh, the appropriate materials to do, so, or the appropriate utensils to clear them up. Whatever. Let's get rid of some of these trees as well. Darn these trees. I love these bullets. They, they absolutely annihilate the trees. Like, holy cow. The spread is not very much, but it's, uh, it's great. Yeah. So Majoga is saying in the chat, it's hard to play just a little bit of Factorio. Indeed it is. And, you know, we're we're quite extensively into this campaign. I mean, how many hours are we actually? We're 20 hours in like 20 minutes. So not a bad start, I don't think. And I say start because, you know, we're, we're quite far into it. But we're not super, super, super deep into it. I mean, we've still got, what, 98% of our rocket to go because I stupidly didn't realize how a rocket actually worked. But, you know, hey-ho. We all make mistakes. We can all uh, we can all learn things, I suppose. Also, I remember not having enough materials to actually build a train stop, which is bloody annoying if you ask me. Absolutely the most infuriating thing in the in the world. Maybe not in the world, but still darn infuriating to say the least. Let's go back. Let's pick up the appropriate materials that we actually need to to properly make this base what it is. In fact, before we do that, let's go and flesh out what we actually want to do with. Uh, with defenses for this area because as you know we did end up setting up uh, a little a little sort of I don't know defense structure at the end of the last episode which is of course eradicated when the the whole memory issue save file thing you know what I'm talking about the dark days the dark days of Factorio yeah well the dark episode or the dark half episode of Factorio perhaps that will forever be forgotten but you know we're, we're doing a fairly good job of replicating it right now uh, yeah, annoyingly, we had something that was 
quite similar to this, and it just got just got wiped out, really, didn't it? Oh, don't misplace turret placements over the potato, please don't. Like, it's essential that you, it's essential that you place them right. Okay, and there. Okay, perfect, perfect. We've managed to place ninety nine percent of these turrets correctly. I mean, obviously, I'm taking my time because I really don't want to fuck up. Not a huge fan of fucking up, I must say. Not a huge fan of fucking up. But that's uh, that's not bad. You know, that's not a bad job. We are under a... Oh, bloody hell. I was looking up to my mini-map up in the top, uh, top right-hand corner. See that one object is being damaged. Not a huge fan of seeing that an object is being damaged either. I must, uh, I must confess. But alas, I shall tolerate it because I am down here building an extension to uh, this area. That's right. Anyway... Let's hop on the train. Let's head back. Let's let's do that. Let's indeed do that. All right. Let's uh, turn you around. Let's stick in some coal. Coal will do. Get in. Reverse a little bit. Okay, and then let's go down to the left. We will indeed be trying to tackle some of the alien bases. Although that is not something that we're going to do right now. Also, if I can recall, we did implement all of the appropriate infrastructure to get the copper onto the belt down here. So I'm not super concerned about uh, about getting that sorted. But I'm just more concerned about getting the actual copper out of the ground. Like, that is, that is the priority for now. And, uh, yeah, how are we doing in terms of... Rocket fuel. Rocket fuel is coming along nicely. This is this is very, very good indeed. I think we're probably going to devote the next episode to actually transporting all of the uh, the rocket fuel and whatnot to the rocket silo, because we're currently only on 1%, and I would like to be doing a little bit better. Uh, let's quickly also just check out what's going on over here, because things ain't so good over here, as you may be aware. Got a lot of rocket control units, maybe about 10% of the rocket stored up here, but it's not enough, as you know, uh, and yeah, we really just, we absolutely really just need to get the, uh, the what you call it issue sorted, the copper issue sorted, because that's pretty much what's holding us back right now, almost, almost exclusively copper, uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll do our best to resolve that, four tarts are engaged with the enemy, I'm okay with this, okay, so what did we need to pick up, we needed to pick up Copper, ironically, uh, which we we do actually have a, a random chest just filled with copper, which is kind of nice actually. It was buffered a long ass time ago. Uh, we'll pick up a whole bunch of iron just from the belts because you know we're badass like that. Apparently our inventory is full. Uh, well, let's get rid of some. Uh, uh, I don't know what to get rid of to be honest. Speed modules, some stone. Uh, let's get rid of some some of the red modules, I guess. We might as well. I mean, we'll take some with us. We'll take we'll take a stack of, of 200 with us. Why not? We under attack. Is something being damaged? Indeed, it looks like that is the case. Who cares? It's just a turret. doesn't really make that much of a difference. Uh, but anyway, as I was saying, what else did we need? We needed steel. I feel that we needed steel as well, although maybe that's just me. Yeah, we need some more steel. We need... Yeah, we need these medium electric poles. Uh, and we also need the ability to make a train stop. Train stop, of course, is going to be the main thing for our train station to go off. Now, have we got enough solar panels? We've got a shit ton of solar panels. That's good. That's also really, really good. An iron chest is not quite big enough to satisfy demand over here. So, let's just... Fuck. It's so annoying when that happens. Let's get a steel axe. That's my phone going off in the background, in case you heard that. Oh, man. Man, oh, man, oh, man. Iron chest there, and that in there. Yep, two more iron chests. It's not going to be a permanent solution, but it's certainly going to make uh, this whole process of the low-density structure manufacturing go just that little bit faster, which is kind of important. And, uh, yeah, pretty pretty happy with that, actually. And we seem to have an appropriate amount of speed modules, which is great. It's just copper, which we really, really, really need to uh, to resolve, actually. That is pretty much our exclusive problem right now. 
unfortunately. I mean, we're fine for iron, we're fine for steel, we're fine for pretty much everything. We've just got literally no copper coming in. And when I say literally no copper, I, I pretty much mean literally no copper. Man, I always fuck... You see these... See the fact that these uh, these two trains are, are fucking half health? Pretty sure that was because I crashed into uh, crashed into the back of them so many gosh darn times. Not like I'm proud of that or anything. In fact, I'm pretty embarrassed by the whole concept, but alas, it happens from time to time. How's our power area? Our power area is looking gosh darn beautiful. Okay, now how do we get up here? There we go. Fantastic. Made it up here. Great. Okay, let's hop out. Let's plonk down our station. There we go, just like that. And I did say that we were actually going to do something a little bit radical with the, I say radical in the, in the lightest sense of the word. I killed Fred909. Hello and welcome to the stream. Hello and welcome to the stream. Yeah, um, I say I say radical in a very, very light sense because we're not actually going to be doing anything too, too radical. But, uh, but basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to... Oh, fuck, I didn't bring enough resources to make all of the appropriate cargo pods. Ugh. The cargo pods, you know what I mean, the cargo wagons, whatever the hell you call them. That is the, oh, that is the darndest annoyingest thing. We need more bloody steel. Stop. Oh my god, I massively overshot that. Holy shit. You know what? Let me just... I don't even know why I came back for that. Oh man, that was... That was a whole... That was a whole big ass mess. Oh jeez. Almost getting run over there. Not a huge fan of getting run over. Um, I'll be honest with you. Let's stick some fuel in this bad boy. I love how fast a single train can go. It's really, really, really very, very exciting indeed. There we go. Come to the end. Boom. And out. Okay. Now what I decided that we're just going to do is we're actually just going to plonk down a steel furnace. And then uh, we're going to stick some fuel in it. And then we're going to stick some iron in it. And then we're going to make steel like that. Because I cannot be bothered. Uh, running halfway back to the base and doing that. Also, I'm gonna make us some lights up here because who can really see anything when there uh, when there ain't no lights around? There we go. I think I think people would appreciate that. I I think they would, but I don't know. There we go. Let's uh, let's place down some of these specially made poles. There we go. Indeed, we uh, we did bring a lot of them specifically for the reason that. Uh, that we need to power a whole lot of mines. And something else that we should be asking the question, or, or another question that we should be asking, should I say, if I wanted to be uh, grammatically Englishly correct. Grammatically Englishly correct? I'm pretty sure that's not a word. Pretty sure that's not a word. Or pretty sure that's not the right way to say things. Are you shitting me? We ran out of fast transport belt as well? Oh, gosh darn it. That is the most annoying thing. It's just the most annoying thing in the world, isn't it? The most annoying thing. Uh, let's make... We need to make a whole lot of splitters anyway. We'll, we'll start making a whole lot of splitters. Uh, do we have enough resources to make a wagon? I don't think we do, you know. I don't think we do. In fact, you know what? I, I think that we're probably woefully underprepared in terms of resources. Ah, that is going to be enough to make a wagon. Let's cancel the manufacturing of that. Let's make a bloody wagon. Yeah, let's make a wagon. Let's place down our train. Now, this isn't the complete train because... The complete train will actually have an engine on this end, so we're going to have a train that goes two ways, which is kind of cool, actually. Um, and it means that we don't have to create, like, a circularized route, uh, so to speak. So that is, you know, a relief of some sorts. But anyway, we'll worry about that in a minute. Let's get the F4 view out. Of course, we only have four fast inserters, which is... I don't want to say the worst thing in the world, but, you know, it certainly certainly seems like uh, like the world is being stacked against me right now. But it's okay. We will just uh, we will just be using we will just be using normal inserters to place down uh, a blueprint, a rough blueprint of of what's going on. Let's also take this opportunity to make a shit ton of wooden chests so that we can have some sort of a buffer in there, and then we shall start to make start to make as many as many splitters as we possibly can. So Rob DSM, you're saying you're getting a black screen, a black screen in Twitch. Uh, I I don't know what to do about that. I'm afraid I I really am not very technically sound when it comes to Twitch, and we are just being attacked 
Not a great feeling, not gonna lie. Not a great feeling to be uh, to be attacked. One object is being damaged, nothing super major. Nothing super major. Okay. Now we do need basically a shit ton of inserters. Now I think we're manufacturing manufacturing six more. That means that we're gonna have enough for all of this area combined pretty much. But we're also gonna need some fast from some fast some fast splitters. Yes, that's the word that I was looking for, or that's the collection of words that I was looking for. Um, and we don't have the resources for those on us right now. Surprise, 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 surprise. In fact, we don't have the resources for, for pretty much anything right now. I'll take that train up and we'll travel back and we will get some more resources, I think. Why not? There we go. Plonk in here. Plonk in here. Plonk you in there. Let's go back home, boys and girls. Let's go back back home. Okay, up and straight and stop. Oh, I overshoot it as I always do. Okay, I'll pick the train up so that that, uh, that, that stone train can go past. Although, in fairness, I, I, I'm pretty sure that the stone train is, uh, is, is yielding us increasingly fewer returns on our investments, but alas, hey ho, you do what you gotta do. What was I doing? I was gonna do something really, really important. I was gonna pick up resources, yeah. So I was gonna pick up a whole bunch of fast inserters and the materials to actually build uh, a lot more splitters. That was the intention anyway. Okay, I'll take all of these electronic circuits, thank you very much, so that we can make a shit ton more splitters. Uh, as you can see, we've got a real shortage of, uh, of electronic circuits right now. A real, real shortage, which is not great. But 50 splitters should do the trick. We are going to need as many iron plates as we possibly can get. Oh, that's a cheeky little bit of... Uh, Cheeky little bit of track just being uh, be, being left out there. Didn't get the chance to update that piece apparently. Let's go down and, uh, and get some replacement track. Player's inventory is full. Well, we'll stick a, our, our single iron stick in there. In fairness, we've got an iron stick over here as well too, but whatever. Stick some more stone in our in our trash slots. Uh, now let us whap down that piece of fast belt. There we go. Some fast iron uh, everywhere is, is always good. So now we have the opportunity to make one fast splitter, which we will do. We will also make one, two, three more regular splitters. And combined with the amount of belt that we've got set up, we should be in a very, very good position to actually say, hey, we have got all of the resources that we need to make this little outpost. Ah, well, something else that we need to remember. Uh, we need more engine units. Do we have any engine units? Do we have any engine units being manufactured? I'm not entirely sure if we do, to be honest. I mean, there used to be some engine unit manufacturing going on up there, but I think I stopped that a long, long time ago. Uh, engines. How did we make engines? Steel plate, iron gears, and two pipes. Steel plates, iron gear, and two pipes. Well, let's make some engine units. Take some pipes out. Stick pipes in there. Let's stick them back in there. Do we have any gears on us? No, I wish we did though. Guess I'll just have to make them by hand. Sigh, sigh, sigh. How many gears does uh, the engine actually take to make? One iron gear. So we're actually only going to need 20 gears because we actually only need uh, 20, 20 engines. Now, we don't actually have any steel whatsoever. Which is kind of a bummer. Yeah, let's go and pick up some steel. Uh, we'll stick 20 steel in the engine area so that we can actually uh, have an, ap an appropriate amount of engines waiting for us when we come back. Cannot insert iron plate. Player's infantry is full. That's cool. We'll put in... Oh, shit. There's a, an entire fucking steel chest right there. Cool story, bro. Cool, cool story. And uh, we're continually making steel there. But anyway... We will have those engine units very, very shortly indeed. Not not at the moment, we don't have them, but uh, we will have them later on, which is kind of cool, I guess, if that's your sort of thing, engine units. If engine units are your thing, then I guess you've got a good reason to be excited right now. Okay, uh, let's go back to the area. I really would like to get copper set up before the end of this episode. I really, really would. 
It's dark. I hate the dark. It's, it's so darned annoying. There we go. Oh, crap. I... I hate it when that happens. I fucking hate it when that happens. I bloody hate it. I always do it. I always bloody well do it as well, don't I? Ah, oh, goodness sake. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, cannot insert diesel locomotive. Well, we cannot lose that diesel locomotive. Oh, it is right there. Um, what do we want to do? 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 Is there any way that we can amalgamate some stacks of stuff? Not, not really, in fairness. Ah, there we go. There we go, perfect. Just enough space. Just enough space. Uh, we needed to make one more wooden chest, although we don't have the space for wooden chests at the moment, so we'll hold off on doing that. There we go. And boom, boom. And perhaps one more would be fantastic, thank you very much. There we go. And now we're in a position where we can say, hey, Let's get the, let's get the, uh, it's the completely wrong way. What am I even thinking? Let's get, let's get the, uh, the other, the other splitter sorted, which will actually split the, uh, the copper into its four little piles. It's not super even. It's not super symmetrical. I'm not that concerned, to be fair. It's annoying that it's not symmetrical, but alas, I suppose we will have to make do collectively. Okay, beautiful. One more wooden chest would be just fine and dandy. Thank you very much. And now we can go through the process of upgrading all of these regular inserters to the very best fast inserters around. Now, another thing that's worth checking is, do we actually have enough power to power all of this shit that we're sort of bringing online? Yeah, I guess we sort of do. I guess we sort of do. Probably because half of our factory isn't producing anything at the moment. Why? Oh, because we've got, like, rampant copper shortages at the moment. I don't think that's unfair to say in the slightest, but alas. Alas, the situation is uh, is is just like that. Whatever. Okay, let's get some belts set up. Let's get some belts set up. Okay. Hmm. Now... What I would like to do is take that underground and then curve this around so that we can get an equal proportion of resources actually on the belt. Now, what we could do is we could actually upgrade this to the super fast belt if we want it to be super, super cool, which I sort of I sort of like the idea of in fairness, but I'm not entirely sure that we're going to have enough belt. In fact, pretty darn certain that we're not going to have enough belt. So we'll use fast belt for now because I, prior, I, I value uh, the fact that... Uh, that we're actually just filling this copper train up with copper more than the fact that we've got fast belt say but uh, but you know whatever I don't think it makes that much of a difference uh, let's bring you down like this let's pick you up right I want to try something a little bit crazy here so let's make a couple of splitters let's make a couple of splitters for the sake of it you know splitters are, are a good thing I think we can do something uh, a little bit interesting with this so, okay, let's get you in like, like so. Okay, and we want to use just normal belt here. And did I build, end up building a couple more splitters? Not really. But I will eventually get to build them. Just need one more splitter. Don't need that many more, just one more. There we go. Okay, so it's a little bit uh, unelegant at the moment, but... For the most part, it will allow me to actually just take the belt and just upgrade the rest of this area. And that, I think that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty important, to be fair. Um, it's not going to be running at the maximum speed that it possibly can be running at, but it's still... It's going to be able to distribute a fairly large amount of copper. And what's important to note is the fact that when this, when this train is back at base, this entire process is still going to be running, and it's going to be uh, it's going to be outputting a fairly large amount of resources actually uh, into the chests while we wait and that is something that I'm very very happy about so you know what I think we're going to call the episode there ladies and gents so thank you very very much for watching in the next episode we will definitely 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 uh, be getting around to getting an automated copper service set up which is something that I am over the moon about and uh, it's going to be absolutely amazing so yeah tune in for then 
and uh, my name is Norman Potato, and I'll see you next time. Bye.